Hello everyone, Nerdlean here, back with some more BFME2 Rise of the Witch King Vanilla. Still against Hard, I don't know why I had men selected, but yep, we're gonna guess, guess we're playing as the men of Gondor slash Rohan today. I feel this one was meant to be random, but now oh well. I'm not overly bothered. As long as I'm not playing goblins again. Because, you know, even though, even though I like randomness, I do prefer a bit of variety. Still haven't... Is there anything about the new um, expansion for the bottom mod yet? I was planning of doing some bottom mod today. Then I, then I realised, oh, if I did, then it would take a really, really long time to win a battle. And I don't really have the energy to do a long game right now. Maybe another day. But not tonight. Start with Erma. Seems like Scavenger is really good. And we just want, we just, I think we just want to get a lot of different heroes. Let's go. Barracks. Don't know what we're up against, but we don't really need to. Just need to protect the key points. Here is definitely a key point. Here and here. Okay, Aima, let's go up and get that. Outpost or whatever it's called. To give us some extra resources. Let's have this guy go out and get make, build more farms as the other guy builds our archery range and barracks. Yeah, let's get the banners. Now, for any other hero we get, or any builder we get, they cost 20% um, less, I think. I don't know. Something around... Oh, wait, no. Heroes cost 10% less. Builders cost 20% less. So, we're we'll saving a bit of money every time we... Again, something new. Another ammo race down to get the, that wall, that wall glare destroyed. Archers. And now we start building towers. Because we need the vision. Because as you can see, very um, little bits, of, very, li very little vision. So every little helps in telling me what we're up against. Oh, we're up against elves. Okay. So cavalry is a must. I think the cavalry heroes might be enough, so I'm going to go um, Faramir, Eowyn, and Feoden. Everything else is going to just be infantry. Don't, don't need to worry about an archery range. And the hobbits aren't really a threat either, so... Yeah, I say we're doing... I say this is a pretty good start. Towers need to worry a little bit less about, but fire arrows we do need to try and get quickly. So we want to expand our archery range. And get those fire arrows at tier three. And now, whenever we kill something, oh, they they they've gone cavalry. Okay, so we're gonna go Rohan, spearman here. To try and help deal with that. Because those Rivendell lancers, oh, they do so much damage on the, so much damage on the charge. Scary. And yet they're just gonna die on our towers and if the, one of them ever gets close to being destroyed we can just repair it make sure Emma keeps racing everything down now he's level 5 so he's got his last ability spear oh when he died damn it I was hoping to avoid that. Get yeah, Dunedain Rangers because they're cheap. And much, much, much better than anything else we have. Let's go Spearman and Dunedain. And get that archery range upgraded again. Build another tower. 
Yeah, and that's why you don't want to build, uh, go cavalry build against elves, because they just have pretty decent infantry all around, and their pikemen are just as devastating. I think pikemen just counter their um, infantry, their cavalry, and Dunedain ranges to counter everything else is enough. And yeah, they get fire arrows too, so yeah. Dunedain, because they're cheap. Cheaper than half the price of Aphelion Rangers. And we can maybe go some Aphelion Rangers as well. And then build another tower like here. Just protect the outpost from being taken. And then don't, don't, don't need to worry about this tower getting destroyed. Just need to make sure they don't harass us everywhere else. Those hobbits actually do a really big um, chunk of damage, don't they? Then that tower. Protect this building because it's so essential to our build. Yeah, we need those pikemen, spearmen, whatever they're called. We need them alive. Let's just repair this. They're not they're not gonna bother attacking it, so we might as well not bother getting the best value out of the rebuild. Let's get Aemer back. And eventually get Aowen too. I'd rather get Faramir because he can get um, train units, which is actually really powerful. As long as I build plenty of towers, they won't get through us. And it's going to be a while before they can start making Ents, so we need to start rushing them now. Let's get Eowyn, or someone, let's get Faramir, I suppose. No, 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 we need cavalry generals now, so let's just get Feoden. Because he can also train our lives. I think he could do it a little bit sooner than um, Faramir as well, at about level 5, I think. Or did they change that too? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't play enough vanilla. I play. I played more Edain than anything else. I think I need to, I need to get more, um, used to the bottom mindset again, which, which is um, go very heavy on economy. Because your buildings are so, so tough and impossible to destroy. And you're very limited in where you can build your buildings. Yep, have them ro both ride to war. Oh, they've got their linden horse archers. I forget they have them in this. Get in this. Uh, yeah, I say we're doing well now. We've built our. We've got our turtling bait. Our, our turtly base. Got a strong army. We can go Lone Tower for even more defense next to our resource buildings if the enemy tries to get a little bit tricky, tricky. Even though right now all they're going to find is. Yeah, those archers aren't going to attack us. I think they're trying to find our builders. Because they don't, they, they don't focus down buildings in vanilla. They're just looking for our. our um, Builders to kill. Oh, and they ran into pikemen. The fools! I keep getting lag spikes. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Because I'm updating um, Steam. Because the new Total Warhammer expansion came out. Shadow and the Blade. Can't wait to play it. I'm tempted to actually um, do some content on the channel as well for um, Total Warhammer 2. Because it is a it is a really fun game. I really do like it. And um Yeah. That's about that's all that's all my argument. I want I might do it because I enjoy the game. That's it. Although I don't plan to do it like a um like a regular basis um thing, like a actual walkthrough. Just like every now and again I might do like an hour of just Total War Warhammer. And if you guys enjoy it, I'll keep making it. If you don't, then I'll stop. Or I might do a different faction instead. 
Yeah, Dunedain mixed with Pikemen to protect them is just too strong. They can't beat it. It too good. And now with fire arrows, Mithlon... Um, I don't even know their name. Not Mithlon Mariners, but Mithlon Sentries. That's it. Mithlon Sentries can't do anything. And yet they keep trying to come past us. So, it's clear that the, the message of my towers being here is not good enough for them. So I'm just going to make, just make more. I'm making more. It was a bit of a rocky start when I lost Aima. But I, I, I think the build's kind of come into its own. So if you want to counter elves that like to spam out... Um, well, on, on a map where you have an outpost. Go to Nadane Rangers. They're half the price of Aphelion Rangers. And just as good. If not better. Because they are a unique unit to... Uh, Gondor's outposts. Let's get some more spearmen. And let's go spearmen against a faction that can make decent cavalry. And yeah, they're, they're, they're just going to sit there sh uh, shooting down my tower all day long. I can make a lone tower before they get to do any, any, do, uh, to do any damage. I'm too used to the AI cheating when it comes to their economy to think that, yeah, destroying the mountain tree is important. I don't think it's important to destroy an AI's economy. But it can be. I've never, again, I've never found it to be any good. But yeah, if, if it works for you, it, it works for you. Great. But again, for me, personally, don't focus um, their, their economy. Focus everything else. Because one, it gives you more power points. You're, li you're more likely to actually be more impactful by, by destroying their... Um, like, like recruitment buildings or their... Um, Upgrade buildings. Yeah, the, the recruitment buildings are the top number one priority. Destroy them and then it's over. Because the AI just can't... Um, they just get a big stockpile of economy before they even begin the game, I feel. And you just can't do anything about it. Right, the Rohirrim. Oh, yes, I even got... To, oh, that's beautiful. Glorious charge, feared and all. And with Rohan allies. Yep, and that's that. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot um, a lot longer. But yeah, the, the gap for me between hard and brutal is gargantuan. I could defeat hard AIs without even blinking. But brutal AIs, I have real trouble with. I don't know why. I don't know why I have so much trouble with brutal AIs. Yeah, maybe a bit more practice, maybe a few more fun videos like this. And I might get into it. But yeah, that was another quick battle. Just slowly getting back into making content. So hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.